All right, we want to find the infinite geometric sum. So remember what we talked about, how can an infinite sequence have a definite sum? Well, it's this idea of a limit. Because our ratio is, is a fraction, it's smaller than a, a number of one, each time we add, we're adding such a small amount eventually that it's like you're adding nothing. So we approach a definite value. So we need to determine what our R is. So that absolute value of that ratio has got to be less than one. Well, 24 to 6, what do we do? 6 divided by 24. So R is 1 fourth. So 6 times 1 fourth would be 3 halves. So R is 1 fourth. So this one qualifies. What's our relationship? So S equals the first term over 1 minus R. Pretty slick little relationship. Pretty easy to use. So first term, 24. 1 minus R. So 1 minus 1 fourth. So I have 24 over 3 fourths, which is the same as 24 times 4 over 3, and that would be 8. So this infinite sequence, geometric, approaches a value of 32 if you add up all the terms. Pretty cool. So you just need to find that R, first term, good to go.